OJ. This podcast episode is brought to you by Itopia Life Herbals, where cannabis and culture combined from one of a kind experience. Visit them at 10 A West Kings House Road, just across from Canadian Embassy. Also follow them on Instagram at Itopia Life or visit their webpage at itopialife.com for latest info and strains and merch. This podcast is also brought to you by Lothian's Boutique. Follow them on Instagram at Lothian's Boutique and you can check them out at 23 West Straightway in Portmore. And you can use my code Ariane 10 to get 10% off your next bond of purchase. Also, say big ups to Shark Cup Barbers for the sharpest of cuts. Shing! Hit up Shark Cup <laughs> Barbers located at 9 Branch Trough Square. Steve, big up your damn self. You can follow him right there. Remember the 5% discount out there. People just say, Onara oh, no, And you get that, you see me? Also, big up our patrons. DB, Tamagod, Richard Vaughn, and new $30 patron, Zach E. Wow. Say, big up. All our patrons. But them four especially, you see me? <laughs> if you want to become a patron, you can do so at patreon.com slash fixja. There you get bonus content, exclusive content, first access to content. You can go there and also if you just want to support us, all right? Big up all our patrons. Of course, people, the fix merch, get the black tea with the white logo, the blue tea, the faded logo, the fix mask, the fix mug, and the fix things merch all up at the store at teespring.com slash stores slash the fix j a so within the space of a week that uh robert livingston that a shaggy and um super, super cat, cat farmer, farmer manager. manager get that out jobs <laughs> all right um so him did a him did a give some criticism or at least he spoke on what him think was holding back dancehall from charting from Billboard 100. And also within the space of said week, Bounty Killer did I say, yo, upon him Instagram, say him not allow dancehall to fall victim to no rap trap, rap trap music. I know people, I, I saw the two things happening within the space of week, I might pre say, yo, no people that pre them thing, I say, why are these old niggas hating? Because mm. it could come off as say them just hate the new music and them hate the new direction which in which the music is going. And them don't accept. And them don't accept the, the changes song, that yeah. it's going through right now. And <laughs> for them time done, a new school time now. So we just want to have a, discu- a discussion on that. First of all, this is the comments. Em. I saw the post. Not you saw the, 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 the post of Bounty Killer Mick. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, it's an interview of Robert Livingston did though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, saw the, I saw the um, the transcribed article. article. Um all right. For some further context, in basically did I say yo Who? Well Robert Livingston did I say it just seemed like certain things were hold back dance and reggae. Are one hooks and melodies. Hmm. Must say like some of the melodies melody them good, but some of the hook them could be a bit better. And I'm guess he's comparing that to first of all Shaggy and to artists of a former time. And next thing that I say is that enough of the artists them fall within a place of complacency. <laughs> in which they're comfortable in whatever situation they're in mm-hmm. national syndrome the national syndrome all right mm-hmm. where they're big here. them, them big okay yes so. things are going for me not things are going for me yes so. i don't need to do anything beyond that really mm-hmm. i don't need to push myself some of them may be thinking that them doing certain things to mm-hmm. be international but they're really not yeah because them clouded by them national them clouded by them national syndrome of course so I understood completely what he was saying there because mm-hmm. none of the artists then they don't stretch themselves musically nearly what myself. They don't <laughs> stretch themselves musically enough to make certain songs that can reach certain heights, mm-hmm. in my opinion. Because I've been a complaint about national syndrome, right? And he pointed out here where they're comfortable in a certain space, they get complacent. This is the music I know how to make. People them love it. Mm-hmm. 
the people them around me anyways love it. Enough it, people like that. It's a work so why now. change? Yeah, it's a work for them now. So you why see me? change? Him also bring up about them just broadening them horizon and just be more traveled. Mm-hmm. And them thing that uh, 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 enough people here talk about them thing that who are in the know and uh, who in uh, this business and along. But some people take it for hatership. Especially bounty killer comments. In being, uh, I said, it could be said disparaging thing as um, things against dance or trap music. I must say, oh, it's it cannot be a genre. Um, what else? Let me say. Well, based off what the article was saying, and saying that you know how you're gonna take two genres, like you're basically taking from America and then trying to make it your own. Yeah, it's been saying. You know, you're you're you combining both genres to try and make it one so mm-hmm. you're trying to combine american style to try and make it dancehall and fitting and fit it into dancehall and mm-hmm. it just can't work it it's it's impossible to do and it shouldn't be done you know mm-hmm. so don't try on america in in a sense don't try americanize dancehall which is what's happening and it's it's you shouldn't try and don't leave what is good about our thing to fit into an American standard. That one was more of a difficult conversation to have. But then we can always draw back on our on our experiences talking and interviewing people. Where them say, yo, it just depends on what you as artists want. So do you want international success? Do you want success within the US market? Well, this is what you have to do. Mm-hmm. Them like here classic reggae instrumentals sounds melodies these things one these things one i don't know now the crossover like that you see me mm-hmm. but in a next breath it could be said say yo i just saw the music i evolve and it just take one for work feet for work one example it could be said is crocodile teeth <laughs> Hmm. Look at the success hmm. that has garnered. Hmm. And that could be said, say, oh, if it's not trap dance or music, it's a half shoot. It's definitely an offshoot. And the only and I guess he's saying that the reason why Mickey took on to it because it had a familiar pattern that she liked. That she like Where and she comfortable with. And plus she know Bo Pato as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, you know, she was able to translate that into an American space. So I want to think, but she, but he definitely needed the help of Nikki mm-hmm. to go further. Want to mm-hmm. think though. I kind of agree with him. Um, well, I do agree with what he's saying about the, no um, living son. Yeah, mm-hmm. about the complacency of the artists, like them. Them refuse or may, yeah, they refuse to try and step outside of the box. So it's like he was mentioning that. Where you could have spent an extra money and and do something with a, a new manager or for secure a deal. Them mm. no want to do that because them say, yo, me I go broke, suppose this fail, me no want it for fail. So me just not go bother with that. Low that. Sometimes it's, it's, it's fear mm. of failure. Yeah. Yeah. So with that, me can agree and I think that they should step away from that mentality. Try. I easier mean, said than done, you know. It easier is. said than done. But if in if you are in the business and you want to evolve, you want to grow. That's if you want to grow. Then why not step out of the box and try? Yeah, it's a gonna take failure. It's a gonna take losses. But you just I forgive it. I try. You see, especially when in the, the social thinking media about, era. Thinking about that, the story behind them wasn't me. Fuck. Them afraid. The them story afraid. behind wasn't me. You you, you know that. Yeah, yeah, saw I know the, the story. story. Where they say, um, Shaggy was detailing the story. I don't know. I don't remember the. I don't remember the company, not the the, the media host that he was talking to, but he was detailing that the 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 the, the label mm. uh-huh. didn't really believe in wasn't me. At all, like mm-hmm. they pass on it, they not understand it, them say oh, this say no, it not gonna work. Mm-hmm. And is is, <clears throat> I guess Shaggy own faith, faith in himself, faith in the music, and I guess faith in the fans. 
where it just translated. Mm-hmm. You know, people not understand a word. Never admit to a word. What she <laughs> say? No, 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 baby, no way. Like them mm-hmm. just wasn't me. <laughs> like them just the cheaters. Like oh, Look twenty like years that. ago, but no, the the cheaters. Um, so people always said they don't know what the verse, like the verse. What I'm saying, but that hook mm-hmm. with the with the, um Rick Rick Rock when I'm singing it. And then the, the chorus wasn't me. Mm-hmm. Like it, it was able to translate. Oh, see that exam where I bring up mm-hmm. can take a go all out. Because mm-hmm. all what go on, you know. What was the let me find up there? Um, the, in, the the beat of that are what kind of beat it is, is, is what it, it wasn't me. Is it is more pop, it poppy, but dan, popish, ah, ah, but popish. dance all undertone. <laughs> nope. I think it have more. It have dancehall undertone. That have st- mm. hip hop, uh, R and B. Yes, yeah. That me that say. Dancehall undertone. Hip hop <laughs> and R and B. So here's the irony, Ari. Yeah, Vice. So he did a story. He did a <laughs> Vice. Yeah. Yeah. Ari with the mic. You know what I mean? Jesus. Sorry. And I think they said it too, in, in regards to how the beat was made, like uh, some hip hop type beat then mm. use shaggy bring him jamaican vibe to it rick mm-hmm. rock um have the r&b melody and uh, hook as well mm-hmm. and that make that song the work and as you said no people never believe in it the same argument could be used mm-hmm. for the people them who defend trap dancer mm-hmm. i say yo when they do the same thing, you know, I just take one of them for work. For work. I, I, I kind of circle back around to, 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 to the argument. I disagree with you of like the, there, it had dancehall. There was a dancehall undertone to the song. To the song. Mm-mm. 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 Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, ask music boss. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so ask music boss, right? Then, then, then. Listen it. Oh, yeah. It's not a dance that's not a quintessential dance or sound beat beater. Undertone. Why? Even the highest. <laughs> Yo, Ari, snap dancer. And this, Ari, look at that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're losing. Snap dancer. Yeah, this is a few dancer. I'm gonna hear it. That's R&B so far. That's R&B hip hop so far. <laughs> what the what? So, Ari, what is trap dancer? The, the, the hip hop of the day, instrumentals laced with DJ and basically with some mm-hmm. little semblance of 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 hip hop. Okay, I agree that it's hip. It's more flows. <laughs> it's more hip hop infused. But I'm saying there's a dancehall undertone. They, and then could I make the argument say are the same with chap dancehall? So why not come after we? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, me not try be a, uh, uh, at least me not try take sides. Me just I try understand the two sides of the divide. Mm-hmm. You see me? I see where each of them are forward from. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you see where the t- you see where like Robert Livingston and Killer arguments kind of tie mm-hmm. into one another. Cause as as, as just as you just prove yourself uh, as Ari, uh, you just prove it. So that was hip hop. Mm-hmm. And, and they never believe never in believe it. In it and never then believe it in it. Never believe in it. Yeah, that an argument was some people say at least in some musical circles say yo. That's why Sean Paul like forget no free things in the book. Cause Sean Paul never bust off on a hip hop shit. The man bust <laughs> off a juggling. <laughs> this is our argument. We are going to some music circles, people. Man, tell you no. Is wow. it me? Wow, we're gonna be that show now. Yeah, we're well, we are. Yeah, we was we have the scoops, you know. Get this. You know what I mean? Mm. That's on our side, though. Mm. Is it me? So, is it some hater shit? You know, it's just it. I don't know if it's hater. It's just what work for them. You know, mm. in a, in a, your your mother would tell us if you catch money off and off a wash cook and clean, but tw- a twenty twenty person would be tw- in twenty twenty the year twenty twenty. Be like, listen, just 
Rub my belly and, uh, 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 and give me good sex, you know. That old man, like, you know. So mm. it, it, it different times, different strokes with different folk, different times, different rules, mm. Mm. you know. So it, it, the... To me, I just think it's a redundant argument. It's almost pedantic because it's the same thing and it's not talk about the same thing. It and it's it just well. like, at this point, as Jeremy always say and Nigel always say, just it just need for work now. So they just need for fine. Mm-hmm. A hit song where translate work. Yeah. and work. So Crocodile Teeth almost did it. Almost did it. I don't think... I think that if, if, if Nikki did come with like perfect mm. bars mm. yeah because even even the the her audience her fan knows that was just lackluster mm. Mm. her fans know that that's why they more gravitate to the new one where she do with Lil Wayne and, and drake versus that one and mm. and that one to, to the her fans that was a new song as well mm. yeah so you know if 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 you know she did punch the punch the bar um the bars that it would have been that that song probably would have done the trick and it kind of touch into a living standard i say in regards to the marketing of, of songs and how them push yeah certain songs as well mm-hmm. it's because some like we've heard whole heap of songs oh tell you what if them just have the right marketing oh. push and just have the right oh team around God. them if them just did surround themselves with the right people some mm-hmm. of them songs could have taken off for real <laughs> like even uh, like we talk about it like Chaos, as I think, is an artist that have really great potential yeah. to be an international act. And it's not because we know him or we like him. But yeah. it's true. Like, if him did have the push, Diani and Maisha and that song there. Um, Senorita. Like, Senorita, like, perfect. If them did just get the push, them can find the right market for it. A global hit song. Mm-hmm. Which other song? Um, Even the, the G.R. The G- brother. Yeah, 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 that brother there. Shout yeah. out G.R. Yeah. Like even him, him send me one project where I'm doing highly experimental, like mm-hmm. different shit. Not people out there would have vibe with it, but mm-hmm. it, it just different. It just show say yo, artists out there who are try different things. Yeah. You see me? Could not work. It may not work. It could work. Mm-hmm. You see me? But you trying different things, it up the percentages of you hitting it you see me find it that's like the latter the more you play the latter the more you have a chance mm. to win. exactly say so it's the more you your work and stretch as you say stretch your musicality to not be to not be in this one can't no. because even because even people who refuse to for moving us even people who try and force themselves to be in the old time dance hall mm. like even we know i say well yeah we we yeah, that a nineties. We in a twenty twenty one. That's how yeah. enough of the kids you think, know? them out here think. Alright, enough of the kids them out here like them know say killer a legend has to be respected. Yeah. But killer now drop a song every week. Right. Killer now drop a hot new video every week. But month. then again, and but to them is like killer outdated. No, they. I, I, I intense I carry the swing yeah. now. Skilly bang, you see me? Yeah. That's the type of shit. Like when them hear even Sonny Kali. I must say, yo, eh, yeah, me know so that them type of DJ did did act back then, but no, we want here, yeah, yeah, and we want here, you see me, hip hop type flows, yeah, uh, over hip hop so. type beats, and because and what, so. and I guess again too, with the world being so open with it now, with the internet and social media, mm-hmm. it's like before. We, we get or it was funnel American culture was funnel through TV and cable mm-hmm. and if and everybody did have cable and everybody did have internet mm-hmm. I mean you know cable for have friggin watch 106 and park yeah and BT um and MTV, and MTV TRL, and TRL. Mm-hmm. so no the world is more open with YouTube with social media with SoundCloud so you know kids now have a more uh, they have a wider range and a wider taste and a wider um access mm. to music than they did in the 90s so you know in america it, it, it almost felt like it was this way like how the communication they go like one way back and forth back and forth but no it feel like it's, it's all yeah. over multiple mm. channels so it, it, it to to as 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 jeremy and nigel say and i and i and i'm leaning with them fine we probably don't like it because again we 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 come from the school and 90s too so we appreciate what mm-hmm. the older legend the, the legends do and the old folks well, i'm not calling the old but if you want to see this and take offense i don't mean the elders the elders you know what they did we appreciate it and we revere it because part of us 
it's nostalgic for us mm-hmm. we connect to that we appreciate that but we also young enough to appreciate what the new people them do yeah so we can appreciate a brick from brick just as much we can appreciate um um look into my eyes uh, and uh, the thing is like with people like killer i'm gonna try to speak for him but i feel like people like him who, who share his thoughts them feel like that this is a killing of the culture mm. as like them i say yo una kill out and a dead out the culture and which is which is exactly what he's saying of what dance hall is yeah which is exactly what he's saying you see me with with but then that's with how that much of like it him, is as well but this is why i think people like him exist and you know and i feel like i guess it's the persevere persevere the person the per- <laughs> preservation no oh, yeah of the culture because because you know, well, you <laughs> <laughs> he won't be around forever unfortunately yeah, yeah. and you know there's going to be a definite change of guard eventually of course it, it happens so you know it's just generation. wondering how we gonna keep up tradition but i think there's what, one happening right now cartel kids are see cartel as as how no people see killer yeah, and yeah. Being, you know say yep. you're not nah, old at all mm-hmm. at all yeah cartel at one time yeah well Kids are born at yo, it hurt you know, you know. And it's like a continue. <laughs> Am I old? It's been, it's, we are getting old. It's like a continue. It's for going me that to way. continue. Yeah. Yeah. Changes. It's going to change, you see me? I think what needs to happen is that's why I think what is so critical, and I think what the Ministry of Culture need to do is there there needs to be, because I think that is the fear that Killer have. And I think even probably Livingston and other producers a fear that they have is as they say is a dying of the culture but there needs to come together a task for it to try and preserve it as best as possible because remember like even like um the the may like maypole and parade and like you know them things that like certain mm-hmm. things that we had it's Not dying out no mm-hmm. it, it, it's dead we should even say dying out it's dead mm-hmm. so i think they really need to come to a collection of persevering perse Preserving. <laughs> yeah, your boss has struggled tonight. <laughs> preserving culture, and and I think that's because I appreciate. You think of them thing I'm too scared. Yeah. Where yeah. it just wasn't yeah. thing anymore, and something new just take remember, it away and just dance dead. Hall, remember dance hall. Remember what dance hall was before killer them. You know, people forget. You know, mm-hmm. and they came and they changed it because it used to be a um a, like a like a pure instrumentation until it come digital we cleave it in mm. like people don't remember that i'm there i'm sure there was a cussing of that that's not damn child that's not no mm-hmm. you see that with steven yeah, steven it could be said our fathers of, of what go on and all exactly that, yeah. so the thing is it's just people just need to appreciate like there needs to be a, a task force of preserving culture and like, but allow for new ways to come, new mm. things to happen. Mm. That's why I'm not so hard on trap dancer. It's Me not either. my thing. I not really like all of it. It's not my flow. It's not my Some vibe. Are Some of them, of course, are real. Because I like hip hop. Yeah, but well, I, I'm. I appreciate hip hop. It's not my favorite. It's not one mm. of my favorite genres. But there are some hip hop songs that I really do like because I appreciate what Killer is saying. It feels like what he is. It's almost like he feels like what he is, mm-hmm. who he is, is dying. Can you remember, you know, like killer's, killer's whole identity mm-hmm. is mixed with his job. Mm-hmm. So he part of him feel like he, it, he's dying. He's mm. dying out. And no one wants to die out. No one wants to be forgotten. Like Coco. You know that movie Coco? Yo, mm-hmm. stop Bring me one crying out. Yo, stop me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, fuck big <laughs> yeah. So no one wants to be forgotten. No one wants to die. And, you know, it's a fear that if we allow what happened, they're probably like, you know. Yeah, but I think there can be some more understanding on the part of Akila where because as mis- like it comes off as old hater shit. Mm-hmm. You see me? You're all... You know, you know, you're not around the place like one time, tap your knife, especially with the cacas out there. <laughs> the cacas hate this man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I, I just think that Cause again, it, it's just cause you're right, it's, as, it's an evolution of the music. As you said, because the the, the, the cacas mm-hmm. and the new people think that the old people now, f- now give way to them. To them. Mm-hmm. You see me? From the time gone. You know, a, so a, it's always going time. to be a clash because yeah. everybody wants, it's like, is that them just think says one seat. 
the new people want it and the old people now leave. Mm. So it just feels like... Cartel it have it at a, a data time now. Yeah, he's like... Kakas, we in this bit. I want it. <laughs> and he's like, no, I'm not ready to leave yet. Like, you know, so it's always going to be that and it's mm. going to always be a struggle. Them conversations I need to be had though so that more... I don't understanding think, can go on in the divide between generations yeah because to be honest because i get both people you know, i do i mm-hmm. get two of them because i truly because i agree with killer in a sense that it feels as if part of us our identity is being stripped away from mm-hmm. us and is, again that is why america feel like they're the world mm-hmm. because everything seems to be so focused on america and what american culture is and what they are and what yeah. they do and you know it's almost like a little like, a copycat. The whole world want to be like America. Yeah, yeah, copycat and I mimic them, you know. That's well, which come is funny because kill her, isn't it? because funny, I'm Jami, um, Africans are mimicking dancehall. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's what the argument <laughs> why the old heads them would have and say, yo, you see them are mimic with so why why mimic that? Yeah, <laughs> right. So it's just it's just trying to understand like everybody I try to find them identity. Mm-hmm. Everybody I try be an innovator. Everybody's trying to be a creator. Everybody's trying to come up with the next new cool thing. And, mm. you know, because even some people say, like, even I heard a rhythm and it sound like a, it literally sound like a ripoff of an old time beat. Mm-hmm. It's just like, but that not, that's not like people new. People hear that and say, yo, this a dad song. Yeah, but, but I've heard this before. Is, is well, up on the rhythm. But I've heard this before. And then how well is it going to do now? Content for all this thing I evolve. Mm-hmm. <laughs> when I'm gonna take, but I think like even when people like Robert Livingston speak, them them speak because they want to see us doing better, mm-hmm. and them just know how certain things work for them and work for him. Mm-hmm. I just feel like say, if some of them artists said they are take on certain things that work for him, mm-hmm. they would be doing better and be charting on Billboard, which we all want, right? I yeah. just want to stay in our bubble. We want to stay in our bubble. Look like them one staying at the bubble. Are, are Javi getting sniffles in the bubble? <laughs> My allergies are acting yo, up in the bubble. <laughs> the allergies are acting up in the bubble, yo. Make a leak whenever I'm in position. I know how you so. Boy, I'm grabbing on your toes. Now I gotta do the most. I don't really love the boss. And I'm headed for the deep. Whenever I draw the ball, I'll be swimming on your course. Then I'm coming on your show. Destiny, oh destiny, my destiny is God. What's your energy? What's your energy? All them are going, them are glad for it. Them will got your feet, your voice, and your melody. And them are pray on the style, cause them are for sin. So me put it in, yeah, she likes what I do. Time your waist, you could have wine your waist, and me don't find your place, say so you're right side of me. 